Hello everyone and welcome to Pure Plate. Today we are going to make soya chunks and green peas curry. Vegetarian dinner option. It's a vegan recipe and very simple to make. Here I've listed all the ingredients that I would be using for the recipe. You can take a screenshot or make notes for it. So let's begin making the recipe. In a pressure cooker on medium heat, add some oil. Once it's warmed up, add the cumin seeds. Once the cumin seeds start crackling, we are going to add finely chopped onions. Saute the onions for a few minutes. And once it's light brown, we are going to add the next ingredient, which is the ginger garlic paste. This is homemade ginger garlic paste. I make a big batch of ginger garlic paste and it stays good if you freeze it and whatever quantity you need, just thaw and use it. It's a very useful kitchen hack. Next I'm adding chili paste. You can add as per your spice levels. We are going to saute everything till the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste goes away. Next we are going to add tomato puree. This is homemade tomato puree which I am using here. Do check out the link in the description box of how to make tomato puree and store it in the freezer. Next we are going to add salt, coriander powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder also known as haldi in Hindi. Mix everything together and saute for a few minutes till you see the oil releasing like we can see it in the video. Now we are going to add the next ingredients. Here I have the soya chunks which I had soaked for about 30 minutes. Now I am going to squeeze the water and going to add them into the curry base. Next we are going to add peas. Here I am taking frozen peas. You can take fresh ones too. And add the soya chunks that we have already squeezed the water from. Give everything a good mix and saute for a couple of minutes. Next we are going to add water. I don't like the curry to be very runny so I am adding one cup of water. You can add more as per the consistency you desire. Now we are going to close the lid of the cooker and uh, switch the flame to high heat. After one whistle lower the flame to medium or low heat and cook it for 5 minutes. Let the pressure release naturally and once it's done open the cooker to add the rest of the ingredients. Here I am adding garam masala and just garnish it with cilantro. Give everything a nice mix and your curry is ready to serve. You can have it with rice, roti, chapati or paratha. If you like the recipe, please give it a thumbs up. For more such recipes, please click the subscribe button. Thank you and stay healthy.